Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. In our last episode, we took a look at an old friend, a Curiosity Rover Mosaic known as PIA-16453 and compared it to a lesser known mosaic that goes by, well, it's called CX-00051MR00 blah, 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 blah. Well, the labels do mean something though and what's important for our use is the 5151 refers to the soul or Martian day in which the images were taken and MR stands for mast cam right. Now, the fabulous thing about all of this is that the lesser known mosaic was assembled from images taken by the rover 13 days prior and at a slightly different angle as it was situated up the road roughly 100 yards. And we looked at some differences in how things were obfuscated in the two by whomever is responsible for performing the disservice and it is going on and if you can at least see this issue to some degree then you simply are not looking at these images or maybe you don't realize that they should not look like this. You know, I really can't imagine who would think otherwise. Uh, the only thing I think we have right now left is simple denial. And I think there's people who absolutely refuse to believe that we are being handed an eyeful of poppycock. That's right, I said it. I was dared to from someone in Scotland. So on the top is the infamous PIA that was released so that the masses could gawk at it. And many people did gawk. In fact, many spend countless hours trying to figure out just what the heck is going on out there. And on the bottom is basically the same mosaic, but not so fast as really it's not. It's from the same location or perhaps the same date, but there are subtle differences as we found some alignment issues between the two. Now, this image, like the mosaic from 13 days prior, which we'll look at momentarily, has one of those CX labels. And two things you may notice that's different from the PI above it is the processing is quite different, darker and less contrast. And it's also a bit of a wider mosaic. There's a lot more span. Okay, we're zoomed into an object that lies roughly 35 meters, that's 115 feet from the rover. On the PIA image, notice how dark and uneventful this object appears. While on the bottom and the more you've got to go hunt for it image, you can see a large amount of obvious cover up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a straight up digitally applied facade. And we will be using the bottom CX mosaic for comparisons with the CX mosaic from 13 days prior. And here is that mosaic. Now, there's something we need to get straight on, and it's something that a lot of people are getting wrong out there when viewing so many of these images. Now, many people think we are looking at a Grand Canyon-ish area here, and that's simply just not the case. Most researchers will recognize this landmark quickly. And by the way, that's the object that we zoomed in on uh, earlier. But just how big is this? Is this some type of butte? Is it big enough for that? No, it is not. We use the Mars Science Lab Analyst Notebook along with the mapped navigational camera imagery to get these not perfect but close enough to where you should definitely get the idea. Yep, this is pretty much what we're looking at right here, folks. Now, this may not be a Grand Canyon style butte, but what we see in the background is a good distance away. Now, this hill is at least 200 meters from the rover, but I apologize, we don't have a sufficient accurate measurement for it as of yet. Now, last time we left you with an interesting object, just sort of left you hanging and, well, here is that object and a reference as we measured its length as slightly more than one foot. And if you remember the landmark from the original PIA that looks so much like a bird, well, here it is in the background over here to the right. 
So back to the object at the lookout is in danger of being stomped on at any time. Now, where is this in the original PIA? Do we know? So here is PIA 16453. The angle is different, so the rules of parallax apply here. So here is the alleged bird and that metal, which is really interesting. And you may have noticed this moments ago another good reference up here. So we are looking at those references across this plane now. But the previous mosaic had the rover part to where we looked along this plane. Therefore, we knew the object should appear along this line somewhere. And here it is. Voila. Now it's quite a different angle. So yes, some different details are apparent, but we're fairly certain this is the same object. Now let's scoot back here and look at what I really think is pretty obvious ruins. Folks, I just don't see how this can be ignored. We've got a good size reference on it now. So looking at this in 3D stereoscopics really helped us to isolate this object. And then we added some contrast to it to bring out some more detail. And we also did it here to the upper left-hand corner. Folks, this is amazing. And it's just barely touching the tip of the iceberg in just this image. This large PIA or CX mosaic, that is. Now let's move along. There's really a lot to look at in this image. But today, just a few of the things, a few other points of interest Here's a pretty good size reference for this, which we measured a little less than two and a half feet in height. It's a lot larger than what I thought it was going to be. I do not trust what we're seeing at all, just maybe the shape. As you can see along the edge, there is a lot of, well, it's obfuscation. It's basically grayed out with this paint that they put over things. We're pretty used to that. Now here in the background is an object that we've seen before. It, it became fairly infamous. And here's a pretty good size reference for it. It's not entirely that small, as you can see. And then as we move on to the left is one of these rises, these hills. And this rise is a bit more than 110 meters from the rover. And notice the front of it here. There is a dugout area of a few feet, and it's about a 5 by 5 by 10 foot area dugout and some other interesting things around it. But this is quite interesting what we're seeing around these. And uh, you may have seen another view of this. Now, 13 days later in the CX mosaic, it looked like this. Now, this wasn't included in that PIA. But in the online version of the 1 billion pixel interactive tomfoolery that NASA put up, it was included there. And I think it's quite interesting, though. I mean, once again, it, we got a, quite a different angle here. And you're not going to see that dugout area, but it's pretty compelling. Now we go back to the other one. And as we isolate some of this, just really pay attention to the detail. Now, this is incredible. So many things are just hidden in plain sight. And I want to show you one more thing here today in this image. And I said I wasn't going to do this, but I just couldn't help myself. Right down here, I ran across something. And it's pretty close to the camera, to the rover. Right here. I'm going to zoom in on this and... I think you may see it already right there. Either this is one of the finest pieces of pareidolia ever, or we have a, I don't know. Looked at this in 3D stereoscopic, and I got to tell you, I expected the stereoscopics to just break apart the pareidolia. That's what usually happens when you see something that's just too good to be true. You look at it in 3D and it falls apart. It's it's not like you thought it was. This one holds up. That's all I'm saying. It may be just an excellent piece of pareidolia.
but I'm just going to leave you with that. Hey, make sure you visit our other channel, World of UFOs Official. And if you've seen a UFO and you have pictures or video of it, please send it to us. See y'all next time.